In this movie, I'll show you how to add a simple controller using set-driven keys. Here is a cube that I rigged using nonlinear deformers. There are a number of them in here. I created display layers for all the elements, so here's my, I can turn my mesh on and off, I can turn my controls on and off, and my deformers on and off. So if I just, just look at my deformers, there's a, a squash handle, uh, there's a twist, and there's also uh, a number of bends in there. The way you would normally control this is by selecting your cube and then finding the inputs in your channel box, for instance the uh, side bend, clicking on the curvature and then middle mouse dragging back and forth. That is not very intuitive uh, when you're animating, so it really helps to have a controller that controls this curvature. So let's reset that and add a controller. First I need to create a controller object and I want to create it exactly in the center. I'm going to switch to curves, I like to use curves for my controllers and take a circle I'm going to hold down X to make sure that it snaps to the grid and I'm just going to drag out a little circle in here. That's rather big, let's do it like this. So I've got my NURPS circle which I will call uh, controller. I want to reshape it a bit to make it look nicer so I go to control vertices I'm selecting a number of control vertices I'm just going to scale those in, oops, scale those in, whoop, eh, maybe something like this, and also put it take them up a little bit so it's slightly bent. Okay, that's my controller. Now I don't want to have it right there, I actually want to have the whole thing up on top, so I'm going to go back to object mode, select the whole thing and put it above the um, object. Now I do want to make sure that if, as I move the entire rig that my thing moves with the rig. So I'm just going to take it and select the uh, master controller for the, for the cube, the cube base and parent it simply by hitting P. So now it's part of the rig. As I move it, it moves with. Next I want to make the sideward movement of this. If I move this side to side make that control the bend of the cube, the side bend. The movement in X, so the translate X, needs to control the curvature of the bend. So I'm going to go to select my cube, find the bend, the side bend, right click on curvature only to find out that you cannot set a set driven key from the channel box, which is really annoying. So I have to switch to attribute editor find the side bend, find the curvature, and that's where I'm going to set my set driven key. Now the side bend curvature is the driven, the thing that's going to drive it is the controller. So I'm going to load that as a driver and the translate X is what we determined the side movement is going to control the curvature. So I'm going to set a key for that. Then I'm going to move my controller to the side a bit. Find my side bend. Curve the cube in the right direction towards the thing. Go to my set driven key window. Set a key. And then repeat the same for the other side, move it to the other side, move the curvature to point at it, and again set a key. So first move the controller and then adjust the curvature and set a set driven key. So I set three set driven keys. So now as I move the controller back and forth, <coughs> it actually controls the curvature. It's not perfect yet because if I move it further away it doesn't do anything and there's also an ease in and an ease out automatically on my um, controller and I want to have this basically linear. 
So what I need to do is get to my graph editor, which you normally can find up here, but because my screen is so small, I have to get it from the windows, save layouts, and perspective graph. There we go. And we're going to select the cube, and we can immediately find that there's a set driven key right there. It's also up there. Hit A to frame the entire thing, and you can see there's some easing in a, on it. There's some moving back and forth. We don't. We want this just to be a linear relationship. So we're going to set the relationship to linear. Set select the key and select linear as the uh, interpolation. It's still slightly bent because the values I chose are not exact. So I'm going to select the one value and say, so I moved it minus 8 and that gave me a 0.45, so if I say minus 10 gives it a uh, minus 0.5 um, curvature and you know, on the other side I want to do plus 10 gives it a 0.5 just to make it exact. Now if I switch back to my um, perspective window you can see that it's now more direct, but still doesn't do anything outside of the range I set. To make that work, we're again going to select the cube, switch back to our graph editor, and it needs to also work outside of this range. So we are going to go to the curves and set the pre-infinity to linear, and also set the post-infinity to linear. Now let's see if that works. It does to one side but not the, to the other. And that's a really annoying thing in Maya. Let's go back to the uh, curve we were editing. If you look closely at the curve, if you set it to linear, the tangents go straight at the edges. And for some reason, one side, it does do the... the um, post-infinity and doesn't, doesn't do the pre-infinity properly. You can easily fix this by switching the curve back to spline and you see how those tangents are now suddenly going straight. Now if I pick, pick my controller I can go all the way left and right and I've got my controller set up. Now I can do the same for the forward and backward movements for the uh, translate Y and even set the rotate to do the twist. So I'm just going to do that while you are not watching. So while you weren't watching I just did the following. This I already set but now I also made sure it goes forward and backwards with another set different key on the Z translation and I even set the rotation and that doesn't really work yet. It again doesn't interpolate beyond the point that I want it to. So that is a question of setting that rotate Y curve back to spline. And there we go. Now it should rotate both ways. There we go. So while you weren't watching, I almost fixed it and not quite. But now it does work. It does the bend on the, the twist on the rotation and the band on the translations. So that's how you can add a simple controller using set driven keys to any rig you want basically and this is rig was done with nonlinear deformers.